For this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can use our GeoGebra Classic in order to create isometric sketches. Now, by default, when you open up your GeoGebra, you're going to see the Cartesian paper on your platform. What we're going to need to do is go ahead and remove that option and replace that with the isometric paper. The way that we can go ahead and do this is we're going to go up to that right hand side where we find the blue circle and triangle and we're going to go ahead and get rid of our axis. So the X and Y axis are now removed. And then from there, we're going to go to our second option, which is our hide the grid. From here, once we select hide grid, we're going to go to that fourth option, which is your isometric paper. Now, from here, what we're going to need to do is zoom in a little bit. We want to get those triangles as large as we can. Once they go back to the smaller, we're going to back it up just a hair so that we can see those larger lines. Now, in order to make your isometric sketch, what we're going to look at doing is using the line tool. So we're going to go up to that third option up at the top and we're going to go ahead and select segment. When we select that segment, that's going to give us a beginning and an end point that we can use. Now, in order to create your shape, what we're going to need to do is find one of the triangles. And from here, we're going to go ahead and use each triangle would be one linking cube or 0.75 inches. So we're going to go ahead and create the front of our shape. So we're going to click on the one part of the triangle. I'm going to go straight down to make that vertical edge and click again. Here you'll see that we have a nice sharp edge. From there, we're going to go over. I'm going to go over three and I'm going to make that same line parallel. So I'm going to go back and click on point A and I'm going to make sure that I go right back above point C. From here, I'm going to go ahead and make another edge. Now with this, that I'm working on the front edge of this. If I want to go back and make a little bit of a cutout, I'm going to go ahead and go up to the right. And here I'm going to go ahead and make just a little square so that it looks like it's the end of the shape. However, if I come off of the end of that shape and go down to the right, now we're going to see that we have this little cutout. And again, I'm going to make that right edge. And now we pretty much have the front of our shape. Now we can go and add a second level to this as well. But in order to do that, we need to give this a little bit of depth. So I'm going to go off to that right edge and add a little depth to this by adding one cube. And from there, we're going to go ahead and go back all the way past E so that we're almost vertical with that point E that we created. From here, what I can go ahead and do is now create a second level. So it's going to kind of look like I'm just creating a single level shape. But what I want to do is go off of this point and I'm going to go up. And again, I'm going to add the right side of my shape as well as the left side or the front of my face. From here, I can go ahead and add the top. And now what we have is a shape created using our GeoGebra Classic. Now, if you want to get rid of all of the points and all of those blue dots, there's a couple ways that we can do this. The first thing we need to do is go up to that arrow tool and select move. From our algebra window, we're going to go all the way up to the top here and we're going to go ahead and select our little icon. And from here, what we're going to need to select is object type. So when we select the object type, it's just going to go ahead and order this for us and make it a little bit easier. Once I click on points, I can go ahead and change the point color to black. And I could also change that point color and take that down from five to one. The next thing I'm going to want to do is go and find those segments and click on that segment. And just as I did before, I'm going to go ahead and click on those A's and we're going to go ahead and hide those names. Now from there, you're going to notice that we still have a few letters remaining. So what we're going to go ahead and do is look for that point again. Let's go back and remove the letters from the point. And there you go. Now, if you want to get rid of the paper, we can just simply go back and select that move tool. We can go back to our paper and make that blank paper. And now you have a three dimensional isometric sketch using your GeoGebra Classic.